What's up? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've recreated this look. I posted a few pictures on my Instagram a few days ago and a few people were saying that they'd like to see a tutorial on it and I kind of already planned on doing one anyway, but just wanted to see what you guys think. If you're not following my Instagram, I'll leave a link down below for that or I'll probably pop the name up somewhere on the bottom here. So yeah, so I decided to recreate this look, this nice sunset eye, and a lot of red. You guys know how much I love anything red, any red tones, warm browns, anything like that. So if you want to see a tutorial on this look, then keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. So the first thing that I'm going to do before I put any makeup on is I'm going to cleanse my face. I'm going to use the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water to do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my face and I'm going to use the Benefit Professional Primer. So with this one, I mainly use it just in my T-zone area. I'm going to use the Mecca Cosmetica Smoothing Primer. It smells so good. I know she's going to watch this and she's going to see. Yo! Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my eyebrow. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ash Brown. So the next thing that I'm going to do is apply a base to my lid and I'm just going to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going to blend it out with my finger. Done that, I'm going to set it with a powder and I'm going to use an eyeshadow which is the MAC Blanc type. Now that I've got my base, I'm going to start with the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. And the shade that I'm going to use in this one is this yellow one here, just right up here in the crease and then just blending it upwards. So next I'm going to grab my Z palette here and these are all filled with Makeup Geek eyeshadows. The shade that I'm going to use is going to be this one here which is Desert Sands. I'm going to pick up my Z palette again and we're going to go in with this shade this time, which is Morocco. <laughs> Having a bit of a group chat, all of us girls here, they will be watching this as well. We're trying to get... Ed Sheeran tickets, which are I think launching tomorrow, so fingers crossed we actually get them. And the next shade that I'm going to use is going to be Poppy, which is this one here. So for the red, I'm going to take my Morphe 350O Matte Palette, so the 350M. So I'm just going to take this red one down here. I'm also going to mix it with this ready orange as well. I'm just gonna grab that MAC Blanc type again and just pop it under the brow just to give a little bit more of a brow highlight. Right, 
So now that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. But first I want to clean up any of that fallout or anything on the under eye. So I'm just going to grab the Garnier Micellar Water again. And just pop a little bit on a cotton pad and just clean it up. So now we're going to go in with foundation. I'm going to grab my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 220. So it is a little bit light for me at the moment because I do have such a really strong fake tan at the moment. So I am going to mix a little bit of my NARS All Day Luminous in Barcelona. I'm going to mix the two together. Shout out to Loving Tan Ultra Dark because I am ultra dark. And I'll just blend that out with my beauty blender. To conceal my under eyes, I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Now this one is in the shade light, so it is a little bit too pale for me at the moment. So I am going to mix it with the Urban Decay Naked Skin in light warm. So I also use this concealer to contour my nose. So I bring it in really nice and high up onto the bridge of the nose, not too far, just enough just so it gives it that really nice shape. And then once I get to about here, I'm going to just curve it inwards. Because this concealer dries quite fast, I'm going to blend it out straight away. So now I'm going to highlight the other areas of my face. To set the under eyes, I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm also going to set the other areas of my face where we applied the concealer. Just going to dust it off straight away. Now I'm going to do the under eye shadow. I'm going to grab my Morphe 350 matte palette again and I'm going to get that same red shade down here. I'm going to bring this up just a little bit out here just to kind of wing it out and connect it to the top. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to put some colour in my waterline, but instead of using black, I'm actually going to grab a red lip liner. So this is one of the Tarte ones that came in a little pack with their lip paints. I think it was like a Christmas one that I got. And the shade is thirsty. <laughs> and I'm going to put that in my waterline. So I'm going to pop a little bit of winged eyeliner on. So that's the winged eyeliner done. Alright, so now I'm going to bronze my face. So I'm going to grab my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm 
So I'm also going to do a little bit of contouring. So I'm going to pick up my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. So I'm just going to grab all three shades just on my brush. I'm just going to mix them all together. Alright, so for blush, I'm going to grab my Too Faced Sweethearts blush, and this one is Peach Beach. And for highlighter, I'm going to pick up my Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. Look at it, it's so pretty. And the shade that I'm going to use to highlight is going to be Eclipse, so this one here. pop some false eyelashes on but first I'm going to curl my lashes and then pop some mascara on as well. The false lashes that I'm going to use are going to be the Violet Voss lashes. These ones are in Dolls Just Want to Have Fun. They have the cutest names. Now the lashes are on, all that's left to do is lip. I'm going to grab another one of the Tarte lip liners and it's this one here and it's the shade Meme. And I'm also going to pair it with one of the Tarte lip paints, the colour Fab. Now I'm going to set my face with my MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray. And uh, no. Yes, boss! Come here! Hi, sweetie! <laughs> he just wanted some attention. <laughs> so we'll finish. This is the final look. I hope you liked it and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, pretty please give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment below on what you thought of the video. Any tutorial ideas, I'd love to see them. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I get those goosebumps every time. I need the hymn. Go that to the side. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah, when you're not